All right, what's going on guys, Young 46. So a question I get a lot is uh, when I'm doing my calculations, what am I calculating? I'm gonna do a video here and I'm gonna talk about exactly what I'm doing, how I do it, uh, should give everybody a little better understanding. That's not the rough, I think it probably will. Eh, just skirted it. All right, so a lot of you guys say I go too fast, so I'm going to go a little slower, plus I'm going to add some steps I don't normally add, just to make it easy for you. So the first thing I do, I take the yardage times the wind, okay, and then I divide that by a number. Most of you guys have seen that. But you want to know what number am I dividing by? So basically, uh, for a tailwind, my main divisor is 225, headwind's 180. So what I do here is I'm just looking at the angle, right? So it looks like... Now, if we were to make this like a 90 degree, where would it be? It's about 50%, right? So I take my uh, 227. I'm not 227. We take the 225 divided by 50%, we get 450, right? So I take 97 times 6, again, yardage times wind. Then I divide that by 450. And that tells me for this shot, I need to take off 1.293 yards, basically like 1.3. So then I take that minus that from the yardage, I get 95.7. Now, elevation. So 95.7 is our, our distance with just purely wind. Now we have elevation. So elevation, I kind of switch it up, and it's really hole dependent, right? Um, normally when I'm hitting a wedge, I do between three and divided by three and four. So we take the five. So if it's like a three iron, something like that, it's, it's usually by three. This hole plays a little bit longer. Normally, I'd probably do divided by four, um, but this one plays eh, almost almost double, right? So it's really almost double. So then I take that, add the ninety-seven. We know it's about at one point three yards. We said for the wind, so it ends up being um, about ninety-nine yards. Me, 99 yards is right there. And if we did all our calculations right, it should be a pretty good shot. Although, Very nice shot. I don't think I aimed enough for the wind. I not quite aim enough for the wind, but that's alright. You can see it pretty much online. It's not too bad. A little tap in. I'm just going to go ahead and jam it in. go about eh, not quite full I don't want to go into the high hill that misting should be okay because I powered down if I go full power there it's questionable all right so this is one of those winds and, and side winds are interesting normally what I do it's gonna be like 15 percent right 225 divided by 0 0.15 that's 1500 all right, so again, we take the yardage times the wind, divide by 1,500, and ends up being about a half a yard. So that makes it 88 and a half yards. Here, I'm going to use divided by 4 for my elevation. Again, wedges are normally divided by 4. Um, but here, I'm trying to think about release, right? So I know when it's uphill, like, more than 15, it's usually 3. So I know there's lots of variables here. That's why it's hard to teach, because um, some of it's just by feel and experience. But... Four here is good because we want it to land short and we want it to release a little. We take that, add that to the 88 plus the half a yard the wind's going to add. It makes it 94 yards. I'm probably going to play this about um, maybe 93 just to give it a little more of room to release. And I'm just going to use the mini map to aim. We said 93 right there. We want to give it, I don't know, two to three yards to let it release out. I think it would have been nice there. Very nice shot. Not too bad. Again, with it with it being uphill so much, I would have gone down to like three, maybe even two point seven five for my divisor for elevation. But you gotta know it's gonna release that unless you play backspin, which a little iffy. Alright, so again here. 
Um, this is 20% probably. So it's a headwind. We take 180 divided by 0 0.2. Gives us 900, 207, about about 900, it's about 1.8. It gives us about 241.8. And divided by three for elevation, we get 238. Um, it's an interesting yardage. I'll probably hit three wood, just to be safe. About 93 and a half. Aim with the mini map here. And one of the reasons it's good for aiming with the mini map is you get really good lateral movement, whereas you aim over here, it'll go really long, really short, and it gets a little, uh, a little difficult at times, causes some issues. 93.5 is right there. Oh, we hit the ding. Three wood is not online, which is pretty normal. See, our distance was perfect. Landed 240, spun back a little bit. Not much break to this, just got to watch a little bit of break at the end. All right. This is a good example of elevation changing, right? So for my approach into this hole, if you want to be really safe, Go two to one for elevation. So for every two feet of elevation, play one yard. That'll keep you from going short into the bunkers. Um, so again, I'm looking at the five, four to six mile an hour wind. We're gonna call it five. And it's a little less than halfway. So I'd call that 45%. So again, headwind is gonna be 180 for our divisor, tailwind 225. 45% that's going to give me 400 201 times 5 divided by 400 I need to add two and a half yards to this shot It gives us 203.5 Again with the elevation I'm going to divide by two just to make sure I'm safe It gives us 222. It's a little it's like right in between a, a good three iron for me We're gonna to try to squeeze it up. It's a little risky. I Don't think it'll be that bad shouldn't have I don't know the only thing is when you take off spin, oh no, that's not good. You also take off trajectory, which hitting way uphill, you need trajectory. So pretty good shot. It's normally where I try to go. Just give myself a nice little pitch. Um, I actually like this number. Very, very makeable. Tends to go left to right from our view. To fold that. Oh, came out too hot. Not a good shot, actually. Easy putt, though. I'm just going to miss thing this. All right. And, like, as you get to play these holes more, you know, like five, I know it's always going to be uphill. 24, 25 feet. A lot of times I don't even calculate that because I know it's going to be, that's a divide by three, so it's plus eight. All right, tailwind, this is, I'd call this probably 85%. So 225 divided by 85, 264, 165 times 10 divided by 264 is a 6.25 yards. Subtract that from the total, we get 158. We already know that's eight. That's going to be, we can do it like that. That's 166 to the hole. Now that's a really awkward number for me. And we got to think about which side's the pin on. And we need to think about release. So really, we only want to land this about 161 and let it release out. So six iron would be really low. So I'm going to try to pinch a seven up there. And it should release out. And if we end up short of the pin, great. That's even better. Uh, just a little above pin high. But even if we ended up back here, it's such an easy putt. When you go beyond the pin, it gets a little, little shaky. Should 
Should have hit that a little firmer. So to make up for it, I just missed dinged it. All right, That's so again, 225 drive. is our advisor into a tailwind. This is about 85%. So 264 again, times nine divided by 264, 2.42 yards. Subtract that from the total distance. We get 68.57, a little bit uphill. So we're going to play this about 69, maybe even 70, just because this hole tends to play a little. That uphill is not entirely accurate. And a little bit firmer. The line was really good. All right, we'll tap in here. Now, the only time where you have to watch these divisors, and they do change, um, they definitely change. When you're playing heavy winds, it is a little different. And maybe that's, that's probably a video for another day. Um, I'll do a heavy winds video eventually. But if you're playing moderate and low winds, these numbers are pretty good. Good ball. A really awkward number in here. Super awkward. Um, hard to squeeze the three up. Three woods gonna go way past. So it's just one where you have to uh, accept that you need to make a long putt. That is not good. That's going to be probably short. Get up. Oh, the lock. Not a great putt, though. I would have rather have been 15, 20 feet pin high left or shorter pin high. Much easier putt. All right, not the easiest putt in the world. Mm, but they do talk about it. All right, so good birdie there to a tough pin. So this hole, the wind plays absolutely crazy. But uh, anyway, I digress. So we can see half, like for me when I'm looking at it, hopefully you can see my mouse. But this little point up here, especially when I have these right to left tailwinds, this is what I use for 50%. And then this would be 45%. So as we can see, it's kind of pointing at 45%. So we take the 225 divided by 0.45 and we get 500. 3.92 minus 196, we get 192. Here I divide by 3 for elevation. Subtract that from 192, we get 182. Now if you play this hole a lot, you know if you land short, you get a lot of spin. But what I do is I actually play fairway distance. So my 5 iron goes 187 out of the fairway. It goes 190 off the tee. But I play fairway numbers off this. Worst case, I go long, really easy putt. I actually try to go long. Long is ideal here. And if we get some good spin on it, then it should land long and spin back. Worst case it doesn't, we'll have a, a very makeable putt. And when you miss ding on the sole, you get punished. Needed to ding that. That went really long. That normally doesn't go that long. But some of that's the miss ding and this hole just plays really weird. Does not like when you miss ding. And my dot's completely frozen. All right, not a simple putt.
Oh, I don't know why that reverted to that number. Keeps giving me the 30 foot scale. That's a bad button. A little quicker than I thought. Well, oh, that's an unfortunate bar. All right. Thing is, if I hit the ding right there, it's uh, probably five feet up in. Thanks. All right, last hole. Another one that plays really weird sometimes. Um, if we're looking at distance, probably 15%, 20. So we're going to take the 180 because it's a headwind. Divide it by 20. That's 948 times 9. Divide it by 900 plus 148. We get 149. That elevation is going to be like 0.66. So add 0.66. On seven iron, ninety-five point six percent. Gonna aim with the mini map. Good thing. And pretty good shot. And you could play around. Maybe that you know. Maybe it wasn't fifteen percent. Maybe it was only ten percent. That's going to vary a little bit. Um, but hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. Learned a little something. If you have any questions, feel free to put a comment below. Uh, if you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe to the channel and uh, make sure you give the video a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. I'll see you guys next video.